So in this video, I am going to talk about colors in Flutter. So this is going to be a very interesting video because I will talk about different things, but related to color only. Okay. So first of all, what we will do, we will create a container and we will give some width and height. So the width and height is 200, like it is a kind of a square. Okay, so now we have a container, so we will give some colors to it so that it will be visible. So now you see that we are seeing a container of width 200 and height 200 of red color. So let's put this container in a center widget and let's bring it in the center. So now we can like focus mainly on the container. Okay, so this is the first way of telling the color like colors dot and there are some defined color which you can use. So the next one is using hex color. So sometimes you want to use hex color. So if you are from a web development background or uh, sometimes our designer gives us hex color. So we want to use that hex color. So how can we use that? So for that you just have to write color with parenthesis 0x uh, which is like the starting of hex ff which is the alpha and after that the color code so i just copy the sixth digit of the color code and that's it or you can say six character because hex is a code it's not a numeric yeah so your designer will give you the six character with the pound symbol. You just have to take that and put it in this color. So 0XFF is the beginning and after that just FF is for like alpha if you want to just know. But in most of the case it will be FF. You don't have to update this. Okay, so I think you got it like how we can use hex color. So moving forward, there is two more way of using colors. So you just have to write color dot from ARGB. So in this ARGB, everything is separated. It is similar to the like the same thing, the previous one. The first one is the alpha, the next one is the R and G and B, red, green and blue. So just type whatever you want to type or whatever your designer has given you or whatever you have seen somewhere so you see that now we are having this thing so if i update the alpha you see that now the red color is not visible that much so it's like kind of a little not that much opaque okay so you see like how we can use this when you are having like the code color code of uh, six bit or you can say the with a number of 0 to 255 you can use something like this so the other one is from rgbo so the first three is the same thing uh, red green and blue the opacity is something which is new so opacity and in the previous one there was alpha so the difference between opacity and alpha will be like in the uh, opacity the value goes from 0 to 1 and in the case of uh, alpha the value goes from 0 to 255 so now you see this is the like the complete uh, opaque and if you want to like make it a little bit transparent or let's make it red so now it's red and if you want to make transparent in that case you just have to update the opacity to something else like uh, from 1.0 to 0. Uh, five you see like now it's like not complete opaque so these are the way of using the colors in flutter and i hope that you got the idea like the in-depth how you can use colors in flutter and i think that this is very simple you learn everything so i hope you will be not facing any problem if someone give you color in like the hex or in the numeric uh, whatever pattern